Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to teach online lessons using off the class and using zoom.us as your video conferencing software. So today's um, video is for online teachers. So if you are teaching in person, whether it's in a classroom or you're running your own tutorials, um, this video is not for you. Please watch one of our later videos where we cover in-person teaching. But if you're an online teacher, this video is for you. So off to class runs in conjunction with any video conferencing software. So that means that you're going to have two applications running when you teach your online lesson. You're going to have off to class running for your content and student management system. And um, you're going to have a video conferencing software running so that you can see and speak um, to your student in the live lesson. So for today's um, lesson, we're going, I'm going to show you um, how to use zoom.us as your video conferencing system. So zoom.us is a, is a separate application to off the class and I've already previously set up an account for zoom.us um, and the nice thing about zoom.us we always recommend um, teachers to use it for online lessons um, because the, it's a very powerful system and the basic accounts are free. So um, if you're teaching one-on-one -on -one lessons, you can get a free zoom.us account. And in a previous video, I showed you on your profile settings how to save your meeting URL. So I've already saved the meeting URL on my profile video. If you missed that, please go back to the second tutorial video where we show you how to set up your profile and save your video conferencing link. So I'm ready to teach. I'm going to launch my lesson today. I'm going to launch Business English 1 Advertising again, and I'm going to enroll my student in the lesson. So I'm teaching Jose today. It's a one-on-one -on -one lesson, so I enroll Jose into the classroom. And here is the off-class classroom. I've got the content on the right, the teacher notes on the left, and I can see down here under the enroll button um, that Jose is enrolled into the classroom. And I can also pop up in this classroom chat and I can see that Jose has not joined the classroom. So now I'm going to take you over to Jose's side of off to class to show you what it looks like from his perspective. So Jose knows he has a class with you today. He's logged into off to class and he sees because you already enrolled him in a lesson, he sees a button here that says join lesson. So he presses join lesson and he gets taken into your class. And we also pop open this classroom chat on his side and um, prompt him to start his video. So when Jose presses this start video button, that's going to launch your Zoom meeting, your video conferencing system. I'm not going to launch it on Jose's side, but I will come back to my teacher account. And now I can see that because Jose has joined the lesson, my classroom chat has opened. And he tells me here that Jose has joined the classroom. I could type to Jose, I could tell him something like, hey Jose, press start video. Or he might already know to press start video um, if he's had a lesson with me before. So I'm gonna press the start video from my side and this launches zoom.us. I'm gonna say, yep, open zoom.us. And there we go. It just launched my, um, my video conferencing system. So I'm going to start my video. And now when Jose presses start video on his side, I'll be able to see Jose. We'll be talking. So there's only one last step to do. Um, and that is you need to minimize your Zoom window so that you can both see Zoom and see off to class during the lesson. And you should also ask your student to do the same. So I'm going to press minimize video up here because I'm on a Mac. It's this yellow button in the top left here. If I was on a Windows machine, it would look like an underscore on the right side. But I'm going to press minimize video. And now you can see my video is nice and small and I can move it around and place it nicely. Um, and I can touch the slides, I can touch off to class with my mouse and my video stays out front. It stays stuck on top of, um, of the lesson. And I've got a couple other things to show you. So when you're teaching a lesson, you can actually interact on this content live with your students. And what I mean is you can actually type into this content. So if you click on any word, 
you can start typing. And these edits are reflected live on your student side of, of the classroom. So now I'm back on the student side and my student can see what I've typed. And then I could ask my, my, um, my student to type. And likewise, back on the teacher side, I can now see all the edits. Um, I can right click on any of these words. So on a Mac, keep in mind that right clicking is a two finger tap and um, you'll see this menu come up. So I can undo the text edits and bring the content back to its default state. And when I right click, there's some other handy features that I can use to bring the lesson alive to kind of adapt the content. I can run a text to audio, so I can play the, the, the text as an, as an audio. I can run a Google Translate into my student's native language. I can run an image search if I want to find pictures to describe a word, um, or I can bring up a dictionary definition. And when I do any of these controls on my side of off to class, let's say, for example, I run a translation into Spanish of the word television, obviously not the best word to pick because television in Spanish is television, but you'll see that now if I come back to the student side, that translation automatically gets synced up. So any action I take on the teacher side is automatically synced to the student side while I'm teaching. And the final feature I wanted to show you in the classroom that also gets synced between the teacher and the student side um, is the pen. So when I click on the pen, I enable drawing mode. And that means I can draw on the content, but my student can also draw on the content. So here, because I've clicked on the pen, my student can actually draw as well. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.